Who's who's that? Sorry, Mike. Um, I'd have to say it's probably about time that he retired. I think you know he's been holding on to dream a bit long now. Well, he's been around a long time, the old boy. Um, and it's probably about time that he hung the boots up, in all honesty. I remember when, when we signed him from Bath, um, everyone was a little bit worried. He never buys any biscuits in the office. No, he's, no obviously, uh, you know, true, uh, true legend of the game. And, uh, can't speak highly enough of him. And he's helped me massively in my career so far. And um, he's been a great coach for us these last couple of years. Anyone who's been involved with, obviously, one World Cup's you know, amazing. But you know, to be involved with in four World Cups for your country is something uh, very, very special. Uh, legend, you know, it's, it's always good to uh, play with such someone, someone that's achieved nearly everything that you could, could achieve as a rugby player. Uh, he's a really good coach. I've learnt a lot from him this year, uh, coming into the academy, and he's helped me with individual stuff and also team stuff. You know, he's um, definitely someone who's respected worldwide and someone who um, you know, well, uh, I'm very proud of to say I've played with. What's good about him is obviously his relentless energy uh, in relation to what he brings to the party. He's very passionate and um, emotional, which is good if you can channel it in the right way. Uh, he still slips the boots on once in a while and uh, shows us all up, which is you know, <laughs> pretty impressive. And he's been an awesome player, everyone knows that. Played an awful lot of games for us, he's, you know, he's just fantastic to play with. He's such a calming influence out there. A world-class player, 75 caps for his country, three different positions. And, uh, you know, he's, a, he's the most skillful passer of the ball in, in world rugby still, I think. Best passer in the game, I think he's still got it now, you know, and I think you know, it's a shame that he's got to retire now. I still reckon he can play for another four years. You know, if you cast your mind back to the, the semi-final against Quinns last year, you know, he won the game on his own. Great leader, he's captained us for a while as well. And um, you know, he's, he, he'll be sorely missed out there on the pitch, but luckily for us, he's still hanging around coaching us. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's an amazing person. Uh, I think anything that he tries to do, he'll um, achieve very well. But... Right from the start, he's, he's helped me out hugely, obviously, on all aspects of the game. And you know, I wouldn't be where I am now if it wasn't for him, I don't think. As a coach, um, he's, he's, he's quality, he's honest, and he understands how the players are, feel at times. So it's always good to have someone that knows both sides of, of the fence, really. As Dino was saying, he's, uh, he's got the lowest body fat in the club and so it's pretty cringeworthy when uh, we are going for a body fat test and he's just sitting there uh, eating Mars bars and still got the lowest uh, lowest body fat. Yeah, doing a top bloke as well, so everyone gets along with it. Um, Keddy, uh, all the best with your last game. You know, uh, it's been a pleasure playing with you and it's uh, going to be sad that not to see you out there again. Uh, hopefully you will pass on uh, your passing skills that you've uh, Set up me for many tries uh, over the over the past few years um, to the younger fellas that are coming through. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll be with London Irish for a few more years to come. Okay, he has a, a way of getting his hand in most things that are influential, so I look forward to that. Just good luck. I'd say a few of the Northampton boys are going to be looking to smash him. So uh, just good luck and uh, yeah, you know, make sure you ship the ball onto Elvis and, and let someone a little bit younger carry it up. I'd say. So it will be sad to see him go, but. You know, I guess everybody has to call it a day at some stage and I guess for a lot of us if we can have careers like he's had then we'll be very happy. Best of luck in coaching and now I think you started really well this year, he's done a great job. You know, I pity the boys, you know, don't listen as much as they maybe should, we probably would have finished so high in the league but <laughs> <laughs> I've had massive support from, from so many people and um, you know, especially thank the players that I've played with. But I think one of the main things is, is family. You know, for you to be a professional athlete, your family have to be very, very understanding and very supportive. And I think my wife Alison and, and my, my two girls there, um, Evie and Erin, you know, have put up with a hell of a lot over the past you know, seven, eight years. So, you know, a massive thank you to them. And over the past six years being here at London Irish, the support I've had on and off the pitch has been immense. So, you know, just a massive thank you to all of you. Um, for your loyalty and um, for your fun times and, and hopefully we can take London Irish into, into winning ways again.